Hello there, Veena here from digitalaccesspass.com. I'm super excited to introduce to you a new feature that will allow you to add multiple order bombs on your checkout page. Your buyers can simply tick a checkbox to select one or more of the order bombs and purchase all the products at once. Let me show you how to do this. If you have an existing buy button and existing order bump, it will continue to work. You don't have to convert it to the new way. However, going forward, if you create a new buy button in SPC, you will find all the new order bump options. For the older buttons, which already has an order bump attached, uh, you will not see the new option there. Uh, the old one will continue to work. But going forward, as uh, when you create a new button, uh, you will find all the new options. All right, so here's how the new feature works. Visit SPC order bump page to get started. Now, this is a new page. We didn't have this before. Now, when you visit the order bump page, you will find a list of all of uh, your existing order bumps there, uh, all created using the new way. So when you visit it for the first time, you're not going to find anything here. And as you create new order bumps, it's all going to show up right here, and then you can edit them. So now let's go ahead and create a new order bump. Click on add new order bump to get started. So give your order bump a name. You can give it any name you want. Now select an order bump product. So Basically what you're trying to do here is you're trying to create an order bump template and uh, you're going to save it. And then you can create as many templates as you want, each using a different product. So now you will end up with many different order bump offers. And then when you create a buy button in SPC, you can select one or more of these existing templates and they're all going to show up on the checkout page. So on the order bump page, uh, where we are at right now, you're only going to create one order bump uh, at a time. So here we are creating our first order bump offer. So select an order bump product. So say that we select one of these products and this is a plugin made for DAP. So it automatically picks up all of the products from DAP. So you just have to select it and it will pick up all the details from DAP. Now you can override the price. Um, so whatever is the DAP price, say the DAP price is set to dollar one, you can change it. You can say yes. I want to override the price, confirm that, and then you can change the amount if you want. If not, you can just leave it as no and it will pick up the details from DAP. Next, you can pick an order bump template. Now, if you want to just offer one order bump on your checkout page, uh, template one is probably more suited for that. If you want to uh, display multiple order bumps on the checkout page and allow your buyers to just tick a checkbox to select uh, all the order bumps they want to add to their order, then template two is more suited for that. So template one for just one order bump and template two for multiple order bumps. Now there is no restriction in terms of which one you can use. Even if you want to offer multiple order bumps and you want to select template one, that's fine, but it'll probably look better uh, if you use template two for multiple order bumps. So let's go ahead and select template two. So after you select the template, now you can customize the template. So this is template two. And as you can see, it has a checkbox. It has an image for the product. It has the product name. It has the product description and the amount. Now, all of this is click and edit. So if you want to change the name, you can. If you want to change the description, you can. If you don't want to display an image, then you can turn it off. So you can say no, and it will hide the image, and it will just show this uh, without the image uh, on the checkout page. Now, if you want to show the image, you can say yes, and you can upload an image from your desktop by clicking on upload image and it's going to show up there. Also, you can customize all the other details like if you want to display a border um, and if you want to increase the width of your order bump template, if you want to increase the border width, if you want to change the border color, if you want to change the border style from say dashed to dotted, you can do that. So it's completely up to you or solid. And uh, these are the different order bump styles for uh, template two. Now, after you complete the customization of your order bump template and uh, update the description name and everything else, then you can click on save and now you will have a saved order bump template and you don't have to redo the customization again and again anymore because you just save it. And now when you create a buy button in SPC, you will be able to select a saved uh, bump offer template. So now let's go ahead and create another order bump. So same. Uh, process, SPC, order bump page, click on add new order bump to add a new order bump offer and uh, give your order bump a name and then select the bump product. So select any one of the products and then select a template. So let's go ahead and select template two. 
and uh, you can customize it and then click on save. Now after you create uh, all of your templates, then uh, when you create a buy button in SPC, buy, buy now buttons page, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, click on add new button to add a new payment button and it's going to bring up a page like this. Give your button a name. Now select the DAP product. Now this is the main product that you want to sell on your checkout page. So select that product and click on next. Now after you select the main product, you can now select an order bump and you can select one or more. So do you want to offer an order bump? So here you can say yes. And now you can select an order bump template that you have already customized in the SPC order bump page. So here we have, we created these two. So let's select these two order bumps and you will see they are going to show up here. Now there is a customizer right here. This is prime relief for the border area uh, around your uh, order bumps. Now if you just have one order bump, then when you customize it in the order bump page, then you can customize the border right there for that order bump. However, if you have more than one, then you wouldn't want to have border for each uh, one of these offers because it will look too crowded. So in that case, you can have just an outer, outer border around uh, all of the order bumps, so it will look better. So here you can customize that order, uh, the outer border, and uh, you can increase the width of the border, you can increase, you can change the color, and uh, you can change the style. And then, once you're done with that, click on next. And uh, here you can uh, customize the product details if you want. So all of this text that you see here is click and edit. And there is a coupon area here. If you don't want to display the coupon section, you can turn that off. If you don't want to display a product header, you can also turn this off. So you can say no and none of this will show up. But if you want to show it, leave it as yes and the image is coming from DAP for the product, and this is for the main product on the checkout page. And uh, once you're done with that, click on next to go to the checkout page. And here you can select the checkout page and you can create a checkout page in SPC Manage Checkout Page, and then you can select the checkout page where you want to sell the product. So here I have selected this one, and you can see the fully assembled page here. Now this is the order bump section we have multiple order bumps here, so users can select one or more of this, check the boxes, and then complete the purchase. So go ahead and click on next. Do you want to attach an upsell offer? If you don't have one, just say no. If you have created an upsell offer in the SPC Manage Funnel page, then you can select the funnel ID here. Otherwise, just say no here and enter the URL of your landing page where you want to send the users after they complete the purchase. So here, then click on next. If you want to use your own payment button, don't have to customize this. So you can completely skip this step. If you want to use an SPC generated button and publish this on your sales page, then you can customize it using the customizer here. Otherwise just skip this and use your own payment button and SPC will give you a link that you can connect to your own payment button. So you can skip that uh, step one in that case. Then select the sales page URL. This is only used for tracking purposes. So select the page where you're going to be selling this product, your sales page for this product. Sandbox or live mode if you're just testing it. Set it to sandbox, complete all of your testing, and then uh, switch to live mode. Now go ahead and save your setting. It will give you a payment link. If you use your own payment button on the sales page, just connect the sales button on the sales page to this link. So when somebody clicks on your payment button on the sales page, they will land on the SPC checkout page. If you want to use the SPC button, which is what you customized in step one, if you customized it, in that case, uh, you can just publish this button code directly on your sales page. Now, after uh, you connect your payment button to the SPC link, or if you publish the SPC button, when somebody, when your buyers click on the payment button, they are going to land on this page and this is what they are going to see. Now let me show you how coupons work. Now say that you have multiple order bumps on your checkout page and uh, you have connected one or more of these products with a coupon code. And uh, say that your uh, buyers visit the checkout page and they decide to take one or more of your order bump offers. And uh, so they take the checkbox and enter a coupon code. Now what will happen is you will notice that 
automatically SPC will strike out the original price and display the discounted amount. So this happens automatically if you select template number two. So if you have multiple order bumps, this is another awesome feature. Um, currently, they need to enter the coupon code here. And uh, in a future release, we will add an apply coupon option right here so they can click on it and apply it right here. But uh, this is how it works currently. Now, if you want to offer just one order bump, then all you have to do is visit SPC order bump page and um, click on add new order bump there. And then it'll bring up a page like this, enter a name of, uh, for your order bump, and then select the order bump product. And uh, then if you want to override the DAP price, you can otherwise leave the default and select an order bump template. Now, if you just want to offer one order bump on the checkout, then just select template one because it's better suited uh, for, uh, for a single order bump. If you want to offer multiple order bumps, then template two is better for that, so select that. So let's go ahead and select template one. Now you can see the customizer here. Now you can customize all the options here. Now this customizer used to be uh, in the buy button page, but we have moved it here now. So you can customize all the options here. You will see the different arrow options, animation option, everything is here. Now after you customize it, and everything that you see here is click and edit. So you can change the text, you can change the font, color, everything, and then save it. Now after you save it, it says your order bump is now saved. When you generate a buy button in SPC buy buttons page, you can select uh, one of these saved order bump templates and it will show up on the checkout page. Now say that you have an existing buy button and you have already customized an order bump and you did that using the old way, meaning uh, you when you created the buy button, then you customized an order bump right there for the buy button because that's how it used to work before. In that case, when you visit the SPC buy button and you edit the button, you are still going to find the old option. You're not going to find an option uh, for one of the newly customized order bumps, so you cannot select that since it's going to continue to work the old way. However, if you want to go to the new way and you want to use the new way for this button and you no longer want to use the order bump that you had customized the old way, then all you have to do is uh, edit the button and then where it says, do you want to offer an order bump? Say no here and then save it. Now, when you revisit this page, when you refresh this page, for example, uh, you're going to see that and go back to the bump offer tab. And now if you say yes here, you're going to see the new options show up. So if you want to, uh, use the new option and you have customized your order bump in the SPC order bump page, that's a new page. If you have done that there and you want to just select one of those, then all you have to do is set, do you want to offer an order bump to no, save the button and then the new option will show up and then you can use that. I hope this helps. You can um, take advantage of multiple order bumps to uh, very easily increase your revenue. You can double your income with very little effort because unlike upsells, where you have to create a dedicated uh, sales page or an upsell page, for order bumps, you don't have to do any of that. All you have to do is uh, just customize your bump offer in the SPC backend. And as I showed you, it's really easy to do that. You can very easily increase your conversion, increase your profits by incorporating uh, order bumps in your uh, checkout page. My name is Veena Prashant. Thanks for watching.